to have more control over the gradients, instead of just using the gradient ramp or the four color gradient, which if we use them, let's say I create a new solid and I put this on here, I'm only given two points, the star color and color. But what if I want to go from white to black to white or some other variation of that? So a better option in that case would be to use a shape object and then click on the word fill and let's pick a gradient, linear gradient. And right now, since I previously used this, all those gradients are squished up. So I'll just click the line to spread them out. If I want to go from top to bottom, I would just select the ends of the lines and rotate them. And to adjust this color on the inside, click the swatch. And here we have our color stops. And these are our opacity stops. Stops mean take two. If you click on if you click on the icon, you can adjust the opacity of that area for either one. Here I have I'm going from white to black to black back to some type of gray. If I don't want so many of these stops, you could just click and drag it down to remove it and then spread out the color. You can click here for the location of the color. So if it's closer to the first stop, you can see it scrunches the colors to match. And if I want to spread out the colors, then I'll drag it this way. To insert another color, I'll click there. And I've been using whites and blacks because this is for the lens blur effect, but you can pick a regular color if you want. And so for the lens blur effect, the final one, I decided to make it more like this, where it goes from white to black, stays on black, and then finally goes a little bit towards gray. So all this area will be blurred out, and this will also be blurred out, and this will be solid.